Welcome to title fight number two in the main and the main event of the evening, boys. Call it. Ah, uh, you know what? You may not be the judge. <laughs> I may not be the one with the Let's prediction. Go, Raul. Let's but go. this is the fight that the entire country has been waiting for. This is the first title defense in the featherweight division, and it, there's a lot of bad blood between both of them. Sham Anand finally takes on Sanjeev Budwa tonight. Let's go! Main event of the evening, title Bones. fight for the featherweight title. Let's take them all out! Let's quickly for go! For the last to fight of the night, let's have it out there, everybody! Sapke lights on, Ojai! And let's turn the house lights down, guys! There we go! Yes! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the cage, Sham Anand! There he is, yeah, yeah. Mr. Mayhem himself, Sham Anand, who's coming back to the cage against Sanjeev Budwar in hopes Yo, to claim the rematch victory. Let the me first time they fought, he lost in the first water. round, Yo, but water. after that he went on a great winning streak, obliterating every opponent of his. Bihar ki shan, Sasa Ram ke shamanand cage ki taraf badhte huye. Manne wali baat ye hai Arjun aur Tane ki inhone apna career start kiya tha Matrix Fight Night mein aur inki pehli fight thi Sanjeev Budhwar ke saath. Ye wo fight haar gaye the, but us fight ke baad he scored four crazy knockouts. He knocked out Indian opponents. He went on to knock out Richard Burns and Mido Mohammed, and that was a real quick knockout at the, the last event that we had. He knocked out Mido Mohammed in May 72 seconds. You know, you know, we say this all the time. Where you know, you know, it's it's styles make fights and styles make matchups and the kind of fighters stylistically Shamanand is. I used to when I saw tape on Shamanand, uh, you know, of his knockouts, I thought he was a power punching loser of a fighter, but that's not true. You see the technique with which he throws his strikes. He's clean. He's got great jabs. He's got good setups. He doesn't end them rapidly, randomly. He sets them up. He lulls them in, and then finds his mark and destroys his opponents. And Shah Anand has made his last four fights a testimony to what he's going to be able to do tonight. Well, I'll give the entire credit to his camp, ICSA, and coach Jitesh Manjan. When Sham Anand started his career in MMA, he went to many places. He went to Delhi, he went to Bombay. Finally settled to train under the leadership of Jitesh Banja. And we saw his teammate Clinton defeating Govind Ale of Soma MMA today. Can they make it two for two? I don't know. Well, yeah. let's make it two. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what happens. But that's what we're saying. You know, it's when it's a different atmosphere, it's a different environment. You lose to a fighter that you fought in the past is one thing. But to come back and fight him again for a, a title and that to be the main event of the evening and fight for the featherweight title is a different ball game to begin with. Sajid Budwa, the man around whom this entire card was built. Today's headliner, the reigning, hopefully defending an undisputed champion of FFN. He is Sajid. Just look at him. And just hear the crowd across the hand, people watching at home. The crowd has gone absolutely insane for this match. And Sanjeev Budwar, MFN's first 
फेदरवेट चैंपियन एम एफ एन टेन में इन्होंने सामना किया था आता वे कार जो कि कहा की टीम में थे और अपने नाम की थी एम एफ एन फेदरवेट टाइटल इनका करियर रिकॉर्ड है नौ दो जिसमें इनकी सात फिनिश है सो अर्जुन एंथन द गाय राइट same time sham anand was trying to play mind games with him and trying to get inside his head here we go tail of the tape main event of the evening featherweight title fight sanjeev burwar taking on sham anand both fighters approximately same age slight height advantage to sham anand and the weight is virtually identical thank you mike goldberg let's quickly go for the main event introductions to jared kar Now, fight fans, are you ready for mayhem? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event of the evening. This fight is scheduled for five rounds in the featherweight division. The judges scoring this fight: Kate Sidar, Abhishek Bish, Mana Stymery, and Daryl Ransom. And as the action begins, the referee for the fight, Herb Dean. And now for the thousand in attendance and fight fanatics watching around the world this is the mayhem you all have been waiting for Noida are you ready well, Ladies and gentlemen this fight is for the MFN featherweight title Presenting the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner. He holds a professional record of wins, standing at five feet eleven inches tall, weighing in at sixty-five point eight kilograms. Fighting out of ICSA, representing Bihar, the apex of aggression, fear, the unstoppable Sham Adam. Now presenting the champion. He holds a professional record: nine wins, two losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at sixty-five point five kilograms. Fighting out of Warrior Cove MMA, representing Ariana, the reigning, defending MFN featherweight champion of the world, Sanjeev Boudreaux. All right, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Gonna keep it clean. Touch gloves. Let's do it. First thing you have to notice, ladies and gentlemen, is Shamanand Rahul did not blink. He was looking at his opponent without blinking. He is not taking his eyes off him for even one split second because that's what it means to him. The rematch means everything. It's a blemish of his record. He wants to wipe off. 
he wants revenge for that first fight he wants revenge for that first loss he thinks he's a different fighter right now he's coming so well prepared and he looks to bring the heat as they get ready for this featherweight title fight Sanjit Budwar was a shaman and let's go boys well I think it's safe to say that the winner of this fight is definitely going to go international because this is a big 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 fight well this is a big fight and this is the fight that the entire nation has been waiting for first featherweight title defense and of course settling the rivalry the bad blood that these guys have Sham Anand versus Sanjeet Budwar is live look at the way look at the way see the veteran that is Sanjeet Budwar slowly throwing out the feeler jabs and making Sham Anand panic moves we want to see the reaction Whoa. speed well, I'm not seeing Sanjeet throwing in a lot of kicks but he starts off with a kick check this out now look at that oh, wow. look at that Sham Anand is, is cutting the cage off, he's getting in Sanjit's face, but that might, that might not be the best strategy to do so early on. Well, Sanjit looks really ready to counter strike. He's asking Sham Anand to barge in, close the distance, and he's ready with his big right hand. Uh, you know, but sometimes it's, it's, it's Sham, I like the fact that he is showing Sanjit the respect. He's taking his time, he's waiting, and such he's doing a good job by slipping under we should be careful that they don't bump heads well we can we can see sanjeev's corner shouting follow up he throw a punch and follow up with combinations and that's why oh man nice hook. Big, big. nice hook defended by shaman and nothing landed so clean yet sham staying on the outside but it looks like the penny is about to drop as this crowd waits in anticipation for that one big shot that's coming of course sanjeev does have exceptional boxing so if the if the game stays on the feet, I can definitely see Sanjeev doing very, very, very well in this. You know, sometimes when you have two fighters with great power, they tend to have a bit of a stalemate. Well, that's the body shot that Sanjeev landed against Chaitanya and made his comeback at MFN 5. We are live with MFN 13. This is the first title defense for Sanjeev. Both these guys here in to put up a slugfest for each other. Sanjeev Budwa, though, is, you know, he's swinging for the fences. He's like, that's what I like. I like well, he's doing the damage. No, he's, he's <laughs> if, you, if you can see. No, my friend, he's not. He's not landing a clean shot yet, but that's a good jab. Now he landed no. a good jab. He's got Shaman's attention, but the shots, the swings. Beautiful oh, job. Now they're getting stepping in. Sanjeev Budwal on the back foot. Shaman though he needs to be careful. He can't be emotional about this. He needs to stick and move and his jabs. Stick and move. Get out of that range because if he wants to play, what can stop him? Robot. Well, Shah Manan has definitely injured his nose from the punch on the face that he received from Sanjeev. Jab, it's that jab, my friend. It's that clean jab which cracked his nose. And it's the brute strength that Sanjeev brings in. It's just timing. It's, he broke his nose. Oh, and this is going to get worse as the fight goes on. If Sanjeev Budwar can just constantly land those jabs. Budwar doing a good job. He's giving Hopi a workout. <laughs> Big left hook, counter hook. Shaman needs to switch levels, change levels, take him down. He has to give him a threat of a takedown, mix it up. He can't be winning. Big shots here by Shaman who's already hurt. Sanjeev just Sanjeev. Like, oh, it's, it's not, it's just it's becoming a clinic now. It's crazy. Oh, beautiful shot left there from Sanjeev. It's just crazy the way he's going back and forth. Oh, again, lands a good shot in the body. That was a good shot with anything. Absolutely. You know, once your nose is injured, it becomes very difficult to keep going in a comfortable manner. And that what Sanjeev needs to capitalize on. Because he's an exceptional boxer. He's got the crisp right hand. And once that lands on, on Shah Manan, it can definitely be a difficult time for him. Shah Manan, the pace certainly has dropped now. As we look to scramble a little better. But I would like it if Shaman just switches up his tactics, change up, change up the tactics a little bit, look for a takedown, look for a leg, threaten him with something different. Because right now he's a standing target, he's standing in front of Sanjit Budwan, who's looking to land another one of those jabs. If he can look to parry and counter, that might be a different strategy there, but as of now, he's, he's standing right in front of him and that's not a good strategy. Well, we have 20 seconds to go in round one, and as it seems, Sanjeev has had good control of the first round, and he has landed some good shots on it. Bahati 
आक्रामक फर्स्ट राउंड रहा है यहाँ पे संजीत ने काफी अच्छी यहाँ पे अपनी पंचिंग स्पीड और पंचिंग एक्यूरेसी दिखाई एंड ही डन अपेर ऑफ डैमेज टू शाम And let's look at the unofficial stats of round one. Budwar landed a lot more head strikes, one body shot from Shah Manan, and four leg kicks from Budwar. I would say an overall dominant performance from Sanjeev Budwar in round one, considering that the damage done was significantly higher. Well, yes, that was some effective damage onto Shah Manan, and and we've got the doctors checking Shah Manan. I really hope they don't stop this fight because I know that nose is damaged, Rahul. Oh, that man is a warrior. He's not going to give up you so soon. You see that nose, Rahul? You saw that jab that cracked him. Sanjeev Budwar, the current champion, really calm, and we've got doctors still checking Shah Manan. I don't like this when the doctor hangs around inside the cage for so long. I don't like it one bit. Well, Herb okay. knows the fight game. I think he too wants some excitement out there. And there we go. Yes, the fight continues. There will be a round two between Sham and Sanjeev for the undisputed gold at MFM. Let's go, guys. Fighters touch gloves. And let round two begin. I, I love the fact. Whoa! That oh, what a beautiful jab landed here by Sanjeev Budwar. Straight to the point. He's hitting the bullseye. He's hitting where Shamanand is actually hurt. I mean, it, it's just it's becoming academic right now because Sanjeev Budwar has one target and he's doing it so cleanly. It's funny. I wish he followed up with that. <laughs> I wish he followed up with the right hand because it seems to be affecting Sham a lot. Absolutely, Sham right now is spilling blood onto the canvas while Sanjeev just is taking advantage of the beautiful punches that he has to throw. Now it's going to be important to see how long Sham Anand can do this. Well, if it goes this way, I don't know if there's going to be much long. No, you know, breaking your nose is one of the worst things that can happen inside a, a fight because you can't, A, you can't breathe, you're bleeding all over the place. It's highly annoying, it's very irritating and not to mention painful. There is a WWE pro street fighter in Arjun. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh man, oh, that big body nice. shot. Very nice, very nice. You know, a, a shot to the face can visibly do a lot of damage, but it's a body shot that can actually take a toll. There you go, that's what I was looking for, those leg kicks. Because Sanjeev Bhai, look at the size of the thighs and legs of, of, of Shaman and he looks like he plays rugby every day. <laughs> and it's, he's got such strong legs. I would love to see a lot more leg kicks coming out Ooh, of him. Beautiful right hand there from well, Sanjeev. Sanjeet. Sanjeet here knows that there's going to be leg kick coming in and therefore he's throwing in counter punches straight onto the face, straight at the, at the point where Shamanand is hurt. I mean, you, you, you know, what's on display is the legendary chin of Sanjeet Budwar as well because he hasn't even batted an eyelid uh, for any of those shots that Sham has well, swing and miss, but he landed a few shots. But Shamanand in a bad way. Well, we can hear Sanjeev's corner shouting, when you throw in a punch, follow up, follow up with combinations and go for the kill. Unless Sanjeev it's, wants to go for that it's just, slow it's, I, find it, I find this incredible that they're standing flat-footed in front of each other and, and, and neither fighter is looking to switch levels or grapple and they're happy to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe because they're putting on one heck of a show here. Well, Sanjeev would be happy to keep it, on the, to keep it off the ground. I mean, Sanjeev is, no, Sanjeev is, oh, is winning this competition, he's winning this contest. Oh, good right hand there. Well, well so fighting on the feet is Sanjeev's territory. We can see. Oh, see man. Double jab. That's pure basic boxing fundamentals. Basic fundamentals, like Rahul said, is a double jab. So commonly used in boxing. And I wish he follows it up with a body shot. Or maybe a big cross right onto the, sh uh, on onto the face. Again, that jab. But look, I, I'd like it if Budwar scoops to the body a little bit more. You well, know. if you see, 
Sanjeet is keeping his right hand literally pumped up. He's all set to throw in a big cross. It's, you know, it's, I, I don't know if, if it's a lack of respect for Shan striking or the fact that he wants to catch him with the check hook coming in. But it's, his Budwa style is so unique and it's so weird because most boxing experts and fight experts will say put your hands up, keep your hands close to your face and guard it. And I should also look at uh, Sanjeet's stance. It's pretty wide. Ooh. Pretty wide stance. Very wide. He's ready for a takedown from Cham, but at the same time, it's just a weird fighting stance. Yeah, it's not the boxing stance. It's not even the karate stance, which is wide. It's the Sanjeet stance. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, right. I like a little bit of funny boys. <laughs> well, Sanjeet is looking to change the topography of Sham on its face oh. with those punches. Just look at Sham's nose. It's definitely it's broken. Sharp is broken. <laughs> That's a good one too by Shaman. Ooh, Again, beautiful, beautiful shot. Look at this, look at this. He's got him on the back foot. And now he's looking to stop Sanjeet. That's what I'm saying, boys. That's what I'm saying. He's Ooh. hitting him now. He's hitting him. And Sanjeet Bhutwa is looking to tie up. 49 seconds. Sanjeet's corner telling him to calm down. Only 40 seconds to go in round number two. They can very well take this to round three where Sanjeet can have an even more dominating performance. Well, Shaman and Zeus should put pedal to the metal right now. <laughs> Well, the time is now because it would be very well 2 to 0 for Sanjeet after this. Matra 30 second or bache hai is round mein bahut hi acha round yahan pe raha hai. Sanjeet ne kaafi saare mukke lagaye Sham Anand ko and it seems that he's not letting go of his title. You know, Sham Anand did take some time to get into the groove but I think for the past 3 minutes we have been seeing I mean, yeah. a very different version of Sham. It's, that's what I'm saying, this is important, it's, it's a 5 round fight. And the deeper this fight goes, we might see more and more tools come out of Shaman in closet. So, time will tell as we get ready to step into round number three. And there's a reason why we call round number four and five the championship rounds because that mm. can change the way a fight goes. Beautiful round two from these two fighters. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what strategy is employed by by both fighters now because the shots, the jabs to Shamanan's nose, which is clearly affecting him, is he seems to be he seems to be surviving pretty well with that. And Sanjeet did a great job of constantly touching him over and over. You see that he missed him there. Both fighters swing and misses by by minor margins, but a couple of those body shots landed by Budwar and that right straight right, which hit its mark, did some good damage. But I want to see the replay of when when Shamanan stepped into the pocket and landed the one two. Again, some misses by Shamanand. A lot of swings and misses in that pocket. That's the one. That's the right and left hook combination that got the ball rolling. Gentlemen, are we comfortable to say 2 0 Sanjeet? <laughs> I am not a judge. Sorry, we are. <laughs> Me neither. Well, well, let's look at the strikes for round two. Sanjeet has landed 30 strikes with a 55% accuracy and 80% accuracy for power strikes. Well, power strikes are the ones that do most of the damage. Absolutely. Uh, from what I see, all his strikes have done damage, so it should be 100%. But I'd say one thing, his power strikes, which were the two shots and the third, which landed on Sanjeet Bhutwa, which made the difference, is 100%. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see how this fight goes on. Housekeeping clearing up right now. As we get ready for the third round, ladies and gentlemen, this is a five round fight. Title fights are five five minute rounds. Arjun, I want to ask you a question. Sorry, Rahul. Arjun, I want to ask you a question. You know, Shah Manan is a lot more built than Sanjeet. Do you think eventually that muscle is going to tire him down? I would think so, but he seems to be in such great condition. He's, he's worked so hard, he looks in great shape. So maybe not. He looks very Paulo Costa esque. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think. Oh, man! Oh! Yeah! Huge shot! Massive, massive right hand! Well, I think this is the first time somebody has literally dropped Sanjeet Budwar like that. This that was a big right hand. <laughs> big right hand, but a beautiful recovery from the champion. But you know, you know, not yet. You don't know what happens when a fighter stands flat-footed in front of you. He can't wing that right hand. He needs to set it up the way he set it up. Sometimes fighters think it's the... But somebody like Sanjeet Budwar, who's such a veteran, will know how to adapt. But Sham Anand, he has got a heart because he's yelling at Sanjeet's face that he wants the action to come. Hey, that, this is the thing. It's now it, it becomes a matter of how quickly can someone readapt. As Sanjeet Bulwar is going to start abandoning his, his striking for wrestling now. Because once you get dropped, it, it changes your perspective. It does change the dynamic as well of the fight, which... Well, if nothing, I think Sanjeet should start 
putting his guard up and avoid those punches. In this fight, Shamanan brings a massive reach advantage, and I think that's what he's doing. Oh man! Oh, oh no! Again! Oh, now he's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's on his feet. He's on his bicycle. He's pedaling around. But it's so difficult to put Sanjit Budwar away because he's so tough. And he caught him at the end of that right hand. But Shamanan has some sick power. Beautiful leg kick. Slow down that movement. Well, I think this would be the right time for Sanjeev to take this fight to the ground because Sham seems to be outstriking him as of this round. I, I, I wish Shamanan would start cutting him off from the left hand side by cutting him off to the left hand side and using that left hook because Sanjeev Budwal is turning to his right. Smartly so away from the right hand of, of Shamanan. He could set up that, he could use, he could switch stances and set up that left hand. And the environment is electric in Noida in those stadium with the crowd rolling for Sanjeev. Very nice counter. We can see Sham Anand shouting, yelling at Sanjeev and says, Come to me, brother, let's put up a wall for the audience here. And as they are, it's, 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 it's as advertised. And Sanjeev Bhutwan, he seems to have got his bits about him again. I think with those two big right hands, he's literally shot Sanjeev Bhutwan. Yes, he has, absolutely. No, he's, he's, he's got his attention and he's got his respect. More importantly, he's not as cavalier and kind of with his shots now. He's picking his moments a lot better. Again, that leg kick. Well, it is a grudge match for both of these gentlemen. And as it seems, they certainly are holding the grudge against each other in round number three of Matrix Fight Night 13. Again, Sanjeev and Sham Anand cannot get trapped against the cage. He needs to take the center of the cage. Start dictating that pace. Push out that jab from over the top to the right like he did. Earlier in the round. Ah, Beautiful kick, kick there. Well, Arjun, earlier today you spoke of Rory McDonald. Sham Anand right now looks like Rory McDonald. What was that fight against Robin Lawler? Uh, right now, he's, right, right now, Sanjit, Sanjit Budwar is looking like, is looking like uh, yes. Johnny Hendricks. <laughs> because he does look like Johnny Hendricks with a beard. But this is reminiscent of that fight because it was so back and forth. Well, at the end of the day, he is the first Sanjeev Budwar with the boxing that he showcased today. But as of round three, Sharp Anand seems to be outstriking Sanjeev. Sanjeev has got the center of the cage right now. It would be great if we can push Sharp Anand down back to the cage because that's where he can take advantage of the position. It's, 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 it's something is saying, you know, the body language of the fighter says a lot of things and something is telling me Sanjeev Budwar is a lot more tentative right now. He's telegraphing his shots. He's not stepping into range as well as he did because he knows. It was not clean, but just a whisper. Look at the speed of the shots that Sanjeev is throwing. Well, Sanjeev is definitely putting up a technical masterclass for the viewers back home. Uh, it's not technical, it's a slug mess. <laughs> <laughs> Both these guys are going for pro. But Sanjeev certainly the better boxer out of the pro. 100%. Oh. Well, for us sitting cage side, we know how bad that punch was. The, the sound of it very nice is electric. Very nice leg kick to follow up for Sanjeev. Oh! That was great. And I just hope he didn't break his hand on that one. Just look at the eyes of Shah Manan. And I, a cobra ready to take his prey. Again, it's just the way he's stalking him. It's just over and over. And the gas tank, it's been three rounds. His nose is busted. He's wiping the blood off it. And we head into the championship rounds, ladies and gentlemen. This is Matrix Fight Night 30. If you're not getting your money's worth, then come and get it. <laughs> well, Arjun suddenly filtered his thoughts right there. No, no, it's it's, it's cool. But I, I got to say one thing. We were three rounds in and it's just been, I see the tide turning. I see the tide turning slowly towards Shaman and he's controlling the center. He's controlling that position forward. He's moving forward constantly. He's threatening with the shot. He's got the champ on the back foot. It's going to be interesting to see what happens in round four because in my experience, that has been the determining round. And that was the punch that put Sajid onto the ground. That's the one that dropped him and that's what started it, the ball rolling. Absolutely. Because after that, that was a quite little bit of shoulder shrug which affected him as well. But it's that right hand again. He caught him at the end of that right hand. But the body shots and the jabs, that's what I want to see more from Sanjeev Budwa because that jab was hurting Shamanan quite a bit. But I think Sham has figured out his range in this round. He landed a lot of good leg kicks to slow down Budwar. But both these guys are carved out of stone.
Ladies and gentlemen, for all those who have probably shut their Disney Plus Hotstars, it's time to give them a phone call and tell them to switch it back on because we are in round four at yeah, MFF 13. If you're not already tuned in, I don't know, you know, you just go call your friends, tell everybody, log in, tune in, buy the subscription, just go and watch the fight. Well, let's see if Shah Manam can keep the mojo going in his favor as he did in round three against the champ Sanjeev Budwa. The body language is everything. Oh. Clean shots there. Oh, big shot. Swing and a miss though. Just out of, just a whisker away. Oh man, these guys are here for an absolute war. I mean, it's a slugfest at this point. With a little bit of technique shown by both these men with the neck kicks. Well, you have to give props to Shah Manam. He is definitely a much better fighter than he was in their first ever bout together. He I mean, is so much more technical, so much cleaner, so much stronger. I mean, I know, my friend, this is, this is a slugfest. You're seeing it, the kind of boxing that he's putting on. I wish both these men were a little more thick. I wish they used the jab a little more. I wish they mixed it up in the body. But they're just head-hunting at this point. Oh. Yes, they're literally head-hunting each other. I think here, Shamanan has a reach advantage, so he should start taking that lead kick of Sanjeev Budwa and try to wreck it out. No, exactly. The thing is that Sharp again he lands that right hand. But I think at this point, Sanjit Bulwar has gotten a little, a little numb. It happens with a lot of strikers. If, you're, if there's somebody who can take a lot of shots, I think half the, half the time his beard is absorbing those strikes. <laughs> and it's, it's incredible the way he's taking that punishment. His eyes are clear. And if that's not demotivating, I don't know what is. Well, both these gentlemen know how to put up a poker face because they have not shown the damage that they've taken, which for the viewers back home, we need to tell you all, is significantly higher. No, I mean, it's getting interesting now because it's, what do what they do from this point on? They can do this dance all night. But they have to go for a finish, isn't it? No, I mean, they are. They're looking for that they finish. They both that finish, Ravel. They're both swinging and swinging. And I like the fact that Shawan is mixing up those beautiful leg kicks. That is the difference maker. Beautiful shots there from both gentlemen. I feel Sanjeev had a stronger right hand in that exchange. And Sanjeev is landing, Shah is missing, Shah is landing, Sanjeev is missing. Just back and forth. Well, I'm just wish wishing one of those guys throws in a spinning back this now. Oh, Ravan, Ravan, you have got your expectations high. Maybe we say it loud enough, loud enough than here. Well, I, I think I should say it loud enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, again. We got the red corner right next to us now. Never too late to just walk up to them. Just warriors, just warriors. An excellent, excellent follow up after the kick. I would, I would love to see Shaman use a left switch high kick because the way, the way Sanjeev hit that right hand is so low near his waist. And if he's expecting the right hand to come over from the other side, he will not be expecting that left high kick. Just after the left kick. between both these guys and they're all in exchanging heavy leather. Oh my god, the way these guys are swinging now. I don't want to see a headbutt. Well, Arjun Tane, this is the fight of the night. I will have to agree with you. Not yet, not yet, we don't know yet. I'm sorry Arjun, but you said it will have to be. You know? It will have to be, it will have to be. But we have to be. Look at those beautiful shots, shots there for Sanjeev Budwa. I think Sanjeev should do more of it, more of you know, combinations. One, two, one, two, three, exactly. one, two, three. That's, what it, that's exactly right, that's what we're talking about. But we need to see setups. And that's what Sanjeev is, you should look for it. My goodness. And Shamanan is right in front of us, staying in the pocket. He hasn't slowed down one One thing both these men can do is start focusing on the body. You focus on the body, you take away that gas tank. Well, I don't know the metal that these two are molded from because it is strong as titanium. Well, I should call it adamantium. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, beautiful shot from Sanjeev. Beautiful jab again by Sanjeev Goba. I love that jab of his. It's right on the money. It's been hurting him all night long. And just the fight, the way they're going for growth is just incredible. Absolutely. And you know the way Sanjeev has recollected his motor in round four after a kind of detrimental round three for him. It is incredible and shows the skill that this man has. You know, this is a nightmare to score because I don't know how they're going to score it. You can score it on short standing, you can score it on significant strength, you can score it on damage. Well, as for damage, if you score on damage, Shaman is it's, 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 it's crazy to know that these guys are actually down to the ground. So this, oh man, no. 
shirt. I'll come there with him, maybe. <laughs> now you got a shirt for Valentine's Day. It's a beautiful red shirt. You know what? Wearing. Actually, tonight is Halloween, so this is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> this is MFN the 13th. Absolutely, man. <laughs> MFN, MFN is it's not Friday, right? It's Saturday. Just missed. <laughs> Just look at that. Look at the Sanji highlights of this one. fight. Landing Whoa. a good right hand onto Shyam Anand. Both these fighters just stepping into the pocket. Lot of swings and misses though. But that leg kick has landed over and over again. The significant shots in this fight were the jab and those short skirmish flurries. But they're not clean. I would looking fifth and final round. Just five minutes left to determine who walks away with that belt. Will it be the former champion or will it be and new? And a permission to send the housekeeping onto our table as well to wipe off the blood, Rahul. <laughs> <laughs> and let's look at the statistics of round four. Budwar landing a lot more head strikes. On the contrary, Shah Manan landing more leg strikes than Sandeep Budwar. Body shots, none, making it a strict. That's what I'm saying. We need to see some more shots to the body because body shots win fights. And especially someone like Sanjit Budwar who has stopped opponents in the past. Let's, let's see what round five has for both these warriors here. And let's unleash hell for the people watching Matrix Fight Night 30. Also, also one more thing I want to do, which I wish I'd said earlier, was at the start of this fight, I want to see a weighing scale for Shaman. I, I, I don't think he's a 66 kilo man. That man has had one of the most fantastic weight cuts in today's card. We saw him in, we saw him in the sauna, in fact, at night. Yeah. Weight, and it was just incredible. The dedication put towards making weight, and he realized the championship fights will not, the belt will not be on the line. If you Unless don't you make weight. Exactly. Yeah. If you don't make weight, the belt is not on the line. Shah Manan now, oh, I'm sorry, Sanjeev Budwa starting off with the leg kicks. Well, he's definitely going to injure the legs of Shah Manan if he wants to take a good hair hit, a good advantage in this round. No, it's, it's just it's just at this point, it's both each other, both know each other's games, both know each other what they're going to do. But it's the one who sets it up better is going to come out the victor. Any fighter will be getting knocked down in this round might sway but i'd love to see if somebody can mix it up and take a takedown maybe switch it up entirely oh no no i want this to be a fight on the feet it is so exciting here in matrix fight night the championship round number five well it's it's been on the feet since round number one and i really wanted to see more tools in, in their toolboxes and that's, that's what i think of the, you know mma is a well round it's a sport with so many weapons and if one weapon i, I love you know fans love Full contact fighting fans love a kickboxing fight and a boxing fight, but I, I, you know, it's at this point I think Shamanan's corner might think saying that maybe we need to fix up a little bit because if a decision is close, it more or less Whoa! Whoa! Four punch combination by Sanjit Bulwan. But look at the iron chin of Shamanan. I mean, oh, man. The, as Shamanan came back with a nice hook to the side of the head, I mean, what are these guys made of? As we said, vibranium, titanium, any of the <laughs> aliens out there. Yeah. Well, yes, Sanjana, I agree with you. I think Chavan and Spana needs to go back and think and put more weapons in, into their arsenal. I mean, it's, you know, you, you, if, you, if you clearly you know that the striking is proving out to be a stalemate at this point, because it's going to be very difficult to stop a fighter at this point. Their faces are numb from the punishment. They will feel it tomorrow. And uh, right now, it's going to be very difficult to knock them out. So it's 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 just with two and a half minutes remaining in this fight. It's going to be very interesting to see if somebody can switch it up. Well, it's been an absolute war between both these fighters, and the crowd certainly seems to be enjoying oh. it. A lot of swings and misses, and Sanjay oh, Budwa good right right there. Sanjay Budwa seems to have taken control of this fight now because he's circling around, he's avoiding the punishment. Maybe he feels he's got this in the bag. Well, oh, oh! Sanjeev showing a body shot. Big body shot. He hurt him with that one. The liver shot hurt him. He Raul. needs to follow up. Go for broke right now. Rahul, as you rightly said, the body shots are the ones that are going to count. Body shots followed up with uppercuts. And that's what Sanjeev did. Doing a body shot. I mean, that's the thing is that it's, he knows that it works for him. I want him to go back to it immediately. Come on, come on. Sham, the recovery for Sham is just insane. And ladies and gentlemen, as we are talking, we are down to the last 90 seconds of this championship bout between Sanjeev Budwar and Sham Anand, a rematch for blood. I mean, it's just insanity at this point. And this has been a crazy fight so far. Crazy. I lost my voice, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sanjeev charging in. 
Throwing in those big right hands. No, oh, oh, very nice, very nice. He needs to go to the body. He got such great success to the body. What a fight, man. What a fight. I mean, it, it, the fact that he can hurt him in the last minute and a half and almost he almost crumbled with that little shot. You gotta give it up for the cardio of Sanjeev Budwar. He is and a the cardio of Sham, man. Sha and the cardio guys. Sham. Incredible cardio and all the muscle he's carrying. It's just incredible. Ooh. Ooh. Shamanand is still in the game. He's trying to throw in those strikes. Uh, he needs to. Shamanand needs to finish this fight by knockout. Otherwise, he's on the, He's at the end of a losing but, decision. Arjun, you know this has been a purely boxing, along with a little bit of kicks yeah. fight. You know, yeah. he, both these fighters have been pulling in those fundamentals. One two, one two, one one and two. Yeah. A lot of fights. See, that's the thing. Sometimes when both fighters seem comfortable in a striking pose, they will tend to continue. That we've seen it happen countless times. Less time. than ten seconds to this epic fight, to this epic battle. Yes, amazing. MFN featherweight title oh man both these guys are talking and as we said Sanjeev is trying to be goofy fantastic what oh. a fight what a beautiful fight for these two gentlemen absolutely phenomenal and my friend it's it's you know we talked about this all week long we knew this was going to be the title fight and my hats off to Shamanan it was incredible but they're still talking trash <laughs> but this is what I mean the sportsmanship these boys will fight again I promise you they're gonna fight again, they're gonna fight, definitely fight again. I want to see a third fight. Bilkul Arjun, Bujay bhi lagta hai, Tisra Adhyaya zarur hoga is fight ka. Because so far, both the fights have been excellent. In fact, the previous one was uh, Sham Anand's pro debut. But tonight, Sham Anand has shown that I'm, he's a really tough nut. I mean, you take a look at the highlights here. The leg kicks over and over did their damage. But in the last round, I think Sanjit Budwar got his timing back. He got his concentration back. Started landing that jab, started landing that left hook. A few punches in combination, punches and bunches. And Sham had started getting a little sloppy. That's the shot to the liver. He cracked him so clean in that exchange. If that just a few more shots and we might have seen a finish there. Incredible, incredible action. Ladies and gentlemen, all that's left to find out now. Who will be crowned with the MFN gold? Will it be the, the current champion Sanjeev Budwar? Or will we see a new champ? Well, let's look at the un unofficial stats brought to you by Fight Geek. Budwar clearly dominated Sham Anand in terms of total strikes, power strikes. And as we said, it was more like a boxing bout. Exactly. The zero. bout did not go to the ground. Zero, 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 zero. Hindi mein bolte na? Shunya, 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 shunya. आप दिल्ली की तरफ दिल्ली की तरफ ऐसे भी बोलते हैं नील बटा सन्नाटा नील बटा सन्नाटा ठीक है चल आपके लिए मैं हिंदी में बोल लूँगा चलो but what a win and what a performance and this incredibly educated MMA crowd has been incredible in their support they've shown such poise and now we go inside the ring for the final time tonight to Jared Kyle for that decision. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action here at Noida Indoor Stadium, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Abhishek scored about 49-46. Judge Manas scored about 49-46. Judge Darrell Ransom scores about 47-48 for your winner by split decision. And still, the MFN featherweight champion of the world, the savage Sanji Bodman! Champion is a bold of Paleto. Challenger Shamanat Galitalia. This book at that title bout or Jabarda's fight. Bodhi Jabarda's fight. 
दोनों चैंपियन निकले लेकिन अनफॉर्चुनेटली खेल कूद में एक ही विजेता होता है संजीत आ जाओ बहुत ही बढ़िया आपने आ जाओ बीच आओ संजीत बीच में आ जाओ आ जाओ मजी यहाँ आ जाओ यहाँ आ जाओ बीच में आ जाओ जिस तरह स्ट्रेटेजी रही शुरुआत में थोड़ी दूर रहने की तीसरे चौथे राउंड में आके कनेक्शन बड़े जबरदस्त हो गए सोच के आए थे कि यही खेलना है क्योंकि वो काफी आपको पीछे पीछे आ रहा था जय बाबा जी भाई सारे भाई ने धन्यवाद भाई सारे भाई जो स्पोर्ट खातर आए भाई बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सारे मिल का चाहिए भाई ये भाई दो मिनट में पाछे ने बट इनको हराने का कुछ सोचा था क्या पहले देख रहा था मैं भाग रहे थे जबरदस्त एकदम सही वक्त पर वापस अंदर आ गए ये सोच के आए थे ऐसे करना है यो के खेल है भाई यो भाई तो मैंने पहले भी दो तीन बार समझा लिया ठीक है भाई पर्सनली ना होया करते गेम है खेल लो यार बैंड से यू थोड़ी चल रहा है महाभारत लड़न थोड़ी आ रहा हूँ मैं ठीक है भाई खेल आपने चल यो पर्सनली चलता भाई बट मैं सोच रहा था कि ये जो पाँच राउंड का जो फर्क होता है टाइटल राउंड में उसमें बड़े बड़े जो होते हैं उनकी हवा टाइट हो जाती है आपकी ये फिटनेस का राज क्या है कार्डियो वैस्कुलर दोनों ही बड़े फिट थे लेकिन आपका एक अलग रहता है जैसे शक्ल में थोड़ी सी रिलैक्स रहती है इसके पीछे कोई राज है वही कोच साहब ने कोच साहब ने मेहनत करवाई है वही इन बेरा है राज गाता मन भी ना बेरा राज के है इन तो पूछ लो भाई कोच साहब चलो संजीत का ऐसी रहता है ऑलवेज हाल परफेक्ट रहता है छोटे शब्द बोलते हैं लेकिन एकदम धमाकेदार रिजल्ट तो संजीत बुधवार हमारे मेन इवेंट के चैंपियन कल तालिया और भाई एक छोटा सरप्राइज है आपके लिए मैं स्टेज पर बुलाना चाहूंगा अब्दुल अजीम बदाक्षी को इसी वक्त बीच में आ जाए अब्दुल यस और अब्दुल को बुलाने का मकसद क्या है अब्दुल खुद ही बताएंगे आ, मैं हिंदी बात करता हूँ या 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 सीधा सी मैं संजीत भाई को बहुत प्यार करता हूँ रियली और कितने टाइम तक दोस्त हमारा है वो मुंबई था भाई कल सीधा सी आप 2018 में मेरा दोस्त है ये और हम लोग वहाँ पर बहुत हेल्प किया मुझे पाद वर्क में लाइक ट्रेनिंग एक साथ मेरा मैं मेरा पॉर्ट पॉर्टिनर ट्रेनर है ये जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन करते हैं जो बॉस करते हैं वो हम लोग कुछ नहीं बोल सकते अभी तो पता नहीं यो हम दोनों कट्ठे मजे लिए आते हो रहे हैं मुंबई बीच पे इसकी मेरा समझ में नहीं आती मेरा इ अनाउंसमेंट करना चाहते हैं क्या? फाइट करने? या हा 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 एक भाई आ जाना लोग अल्लाह बे सीधा सीधा अल्लाह बे रिले एक फाइट करते हैं लाइक एक शो शो देते हैं मजा के लिए मजा के लिए योगी भाई रियाने ते हैं उन बिछड़ रहे हैं तो यहाँ ऐलान कर दिया अगले एमएफ के लिए संजीत बुधवार और अब्दुल अजीम बदाक्षी एक साथ फेस ऑफ हो जाए यही पे ही राइट नाउ राइट या सिर्फ फेस ऑफ कैमरा के लिए और एमएफ एन थर्टीन की ये इससे बेटर एंडिंग हो नहीं सकती है दो दोस्त भिड़ेंगे अगली बार तब दोस्ती इतनी यारी नहीं दिखाई देगी बा वन नाइट इट्स बीन संजीत कंग्रेचुलेशन एंड दैट बी द नेक्स्ट फाइट फॉर द नेक्स्ट सीजन But for now, it's over to the comms. Or thank you, everybody, who came. Abre le taliya kya bar jabardas? Sabse bhatri na mafen. Aaj noida me. Baad baad shukriya. Over to comms.